So another week and another 99 rated player, Mbappe is the face of Footy's Team 4. Whether we get a Team 5, I highly doubt it. We're going to go into pre-season, I can imagine. So it looks like the last one, Messi, Ronaldo, Neymar and Mbappe. More than likely extinct for a while. He's coming in at 15.2 million and he is going to be extinct for probably the whole of footage, to be fair to him. He is a 5-5 as normal, high-low on the work rates and the stats are ever so good. Whether I would say he's worth the upgrade from his team of the season or even is just his normal team of the year, I think the only thing you're buying here is just a new card in, in terms of the new dynamic, the new footage. In terms of the difference between him, there's not going to be much. When we look at the difference between him and his team of the season, you're losing out, well, you're gaining, in fact, two defending physical, one shooting, and five passing. I wouldn't say an extra, say the team of the season's coming in at 4.3. I wouldn't say an another 11 mil is worth the 99. So I would 100% be okay with a team of the season. But the foot is, is always going to be that new and shiny thing that you want to get into your team. He is going to be incredible. I'm ready to go with him. Let's have a look and see what Killian can do for us. I'd like to tell you about skycoach.gg. They offer many features within the FIFA franchise from FIFA coins to FIFA weekend league boosts from trusted sellers, pro players and are the best prices on the market currently. They have fast delivery, high quality services, lots of games and also a cashback program. The more coins you buy, the more eligible you are for cashback options. So if you want to buy FIFA coins at the best price, click the link in the description of this video. It will be active promo code for 10% discount from my subscribers. All you have to use is the code JT11 at the checkout to receive this bonus. On to the video. Let's give him a go then. We know how good Mbappe normally is. He's he's just going to be an amplified version. He is just the best striker on the game as normal. Keeper's not coming out, which is very strange because that is the easiest goal he's going to score. You don't let Mbappe have the space and the pace is going to be absolutely immense as well as he wins this ball. The only thing now is... Going to go for the fake inside, looking for that little bit of opening, and Mbappe finds the net again in four minutes. Incredible. I was going to save. He's going to give me a hat trick of that. Any day of the week would be nice. Mbappe again going to go for the turn. This guy seems to be very, very happy with the tackles. It's a good tackle from behind, though. Like I said from Team 1, I can imagine all of the footies during pre-season should go into packs purely for the fact that if, if especially if CR7 is still extinct it wouldn't make no sense to have these 99 cards and just completely unable to use them and hopefully we do get something back for the level ups that would again be really cool to be able to have another shot at getting that 99 Kevin De Bruyne again it would be nice if they just put the upgraded versions in I don't know whether it's fair or not or at least do the objectives again till the end of the game Mbappe is just so good on this. The pace is absolutely incredible. Nearly winning that. Can we get through here? Little spin. Keeps the ball nicely. Tucks it under. Into Coleman. Looking for Mbappe again. Tucks it back. And there's the hat trick. Nice and easy. First rage quit as well. You love to see it. As well, I suppose the upgrade you are getting. He is a five-star, five-star Mbappe. The previous team of the season had the four-star weak foot. So again, a little bit of an upgrade that you're not necessarily going to get on the team of the season. But like I said, whether that's worth the 11 mil extra, we know Mbappe naturally in the game is incredible. And he's going to be like that for next year as well. So get ready to keep seeing Mbappe. The gold card this year lasted so, so long in game. It was incredible. I think you could pretty much get away with him, even into team of the season, which I don't think any gold card physically could do. Is he going to go for something here? Oh, he's done very, very well. Stood off him knowing that I was going to maybe make a turn there. He is a card that naturally just wins games, though. He's powerful going through. He's got the pace. He's got the finishing. If you can see him as well, that would be even better. But just generically, his body type, everything that, that FIFA have done for him has just made him the meta player. The only person that could probably go with him next year would potentially be Haaland as obviously if he does manage to get himself his own body type now being the face of the game that again would be an interesting card to try and rival the Mbappe because they are so different styles as well little dink can we get it lovely Mbappe finish finds it up top again he's gonna let Mbappe get that touch get the shot was that a save 
Okay, I, 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 that looked crazy. But in terms of the strikers as well, we've Mbappe is always going to be number one on the list. But there is actually a good amount of strikers now. Even if you just look at the very cheap option of someone like a Czech. There is so many options for strikers from the new footies. It is a very nice and kind of well-rounded different selection. It's not just Mbappe R9 all day long. And yes, they probably are my favorite too. But now even with the footies Di Natale, you've got the 99 Messi and Ronaldo. Even if you chucked in Wayne Rooney's cover star up there, there is options for absolutely endgame strikers that doesn't just have Mbappe in it. We're going to get through here. He's going to bring me down. Get the left foot. Good block from Diaz. Oh, it's got to be a flick. Great finish again. It's just Mbappe. It's what he does. 99 rated and pure genius. So if we go into the overall forum then, is he coming in at any sort of price? Probably not. Let's have a look because I'm interested. Is CR7 still extinct? Yeah, 15 million. I think Messi was definitely on there, I want to say. Pretty sure he was straight away in there. I don't know why he was in packs, or at least he is on the market in comparison to the rest of them. Neymar, I think I have seen on there. I know he's quite expensive still. Six million, so he's technically less than Messi, which is crazy in itself. Obviously not a premium, which is unfortunate, but Mbappe is now amongst the top of the top. Like I said, the difference between the 97 of his team of the year... 4.3 mil, you're gaining in the even less. Two on the shooting, four passing, one dribbling and one defending. When it comes to the team of the season, it's the other end, defending physical, more passing that you're losing out on. I don't know if, I don't think any other version is a 5-5 other than this version. So I suppose that is the biggest benefit that you get. And the stats are just the stats. Chem-wise, people are looking at the architect, I'm assuming. Yeah, passing and obviously shooting. So if we look at the architect on him. 95, 94. Okay, that's probably the best that you're going to get. He is absolutely top draw. You, you can never deny it. Mbappe is Mbappe. He's very expensive. And hopefully we do get the chance to get all of these. Because this is going to be the issue. We have three, well, four 99s if you include Neymar. Kevin De Bruyne's already gone now. That literally are the most expensive cards on the game. Where we have the littlest amount of coins on the game. It's all about grinding. And the fact that Mbappe is going to be this hard to get. I'm hoping they do come out again all in one team. And then we have the 85 times 10 or anything like that repeatable that doesn't require stupid objectives or uh, stupid requirements that we can't get back and back and back. Pele, another one's going to be the great shout. Loving Garincha, but I think in terms of them three, it's only R9. Czech is a very cheap option, but I don't think he's necessarily going to even compete with the 99 cards, which is just what it is. Haaland, Pogba, Di Maria, Alvarez is a great shout. Then you go into some of the, the cheaper footies, Alwaran, Jesus, Royce, some absolutely balling names. But Mbappe definitely comes out on top. Him and R9 have always been my favorite two strikers, and obviously you're going to want to get your hands on him. 10 out of 10, never going to argue, very impossible to get, but let me know down below, flex it if you've managed to get him. Apart from that, make sure you like and subscribe. Peace.